So I have started my journey over the highest peak in Thailand to Wat Tham Wua. I'm going to be doing a meditation retreat for a few days and I'm riding my motorbike there and I have discovered something. There's quite a few other motorbikes on the road, but it's a gorgeous way to the temple. It's about, uh, takes forever to get there, um, winding through the mountains. And uh, I discovered that I can now shift from fourth into third gear on my motorbike while taking a stick out of my bra. See, things kind of blow into your clothing as you're on a motorbike, so uh, I'm getting very adept at my motoring. Back to the road. Ah. So part of the fun of going on a motorbike ride is the unexpected twists and turns. So I thought I'd check out this um, hot spring with a sign and tie and um, paid my 40 baht, which took about 10 minutes. He was so cute. He was taking a long time to print. I don't know what he was writing. Um, but you have to pay for the bike and the person. And of course, since I don't understand such good tie, I don't understand Thai so well, listen to me. Um, they didn't tell me that the road, the five kilometers of road, was awash in mud in places. And um, so I'm trying to throw it in low gear going up a steep hill and I thought I was going to flip over. Oh my god. Even I don't need that much nature. So I'm going back to the paved road and... Um, I saw a tree stump, and it looked like a deer. I think that's enough nature for me. Anyway, I'm going to be at a natural watt, and I'm going there right now. See, the thing is, if I actually found the hot springs, the benefit would completely go away riding the road out. They didn't mention that, that there's dips, valleys, potholes filled with water and mud. No, thank you. There's a million sunflowers blooming in the mountains. Sunflowers just make you happy. So I'm going to continue my way up the mountain. Ah. So I made it to the highest mountain in Thailand. Pa Pang Tha. I'm not sure that's it. Anyway, it's a gorgeous day, and the last time I was up here, it was raining, and it was still beautiful. Ah, there were plenty of switchbacks, so if you do come on motorcy, Thai word for motorcycle, make it a bigger one than the one I have. But look how gorgeous. Loving it, loving it. Place to go to the bathroom, take a break, get a drink, and continue to Sopong. So I'm really a hippie at heart. I found this uh, natural, the Sopong River Inn. I had a feeling about it when I passed it last time, but here it is on the river. Look at this. I'm going to go for a swim before I continue. Ah. So they have lovely little cutesy pie cabins right on the river and you can hear it rushing. And I had the best lunch. Oh my gosh. Oh, I think my finger's in the lens. Oopsie. <clears throat> the Sopong River Inn is magical. And they have their own little beach. That was refreshing. Oh my gosh, look at this place. It's just a little bit of heaven. I'm loving it. And the river water was so clean. It's rushing, so I just took a little dip. Back to the road. That was a wonderful stop. <laughs> 